A Category 5 hurricane is already something that doesn't happen that often. But when it happens in November, it's a huge deal. In fact, it's only happened twice before. Once in 1935 and once now. That's right. Hurricane Iota has intensified into a Category 5 hurricane. Now, Iota is not only the latest Category 5 on record, it is going to hit an area that is recovering from another strong hurricane that hit the region just two weeks ago. Now, before we get into Iota, its forecast and its possible impacts, I would appreciate, I, I would appreciate if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Now, Iota has a lot of weird stuff going at it. Not only is it the latest Category 5 on record, it will be the only time two major hurricanes have made landfall on the Central American country of Nicaragua in one season, after Ada just two weeks ago. Not to mention, Iota has never been used before, but you get the point. It's a strange storm. So, what caused it to get so strong so quickly, and what can we expect over the next few days? Well, it formed just three days ago in the Caribbean Sea, which is known for having the warmest water in the Atlantic Ocean. Adding on to this is low wind shear, which helps to tear hurricane apart, and high amounts of moisture in the air. Finally, Iota is a small hurricane. All of these factors work to create the perfect recipe for rapid intensification. And amazingly, these factors have aligned twice before this season, when hurricanes Ida and Delta blew up in roughly the same area. Within 24 hours, Iota was a Category 1 hurricane. 12 hours after that, it hit Category 2 status. Another 12 hours after that, and we have a 160 mile per hour Category 5 hurricane on the loose. Curve forecasts show Iota continuing to intensify over the next 12 hours, possibly peaking at 175 miles per hour before it makes landfall on the northeastern Nicaraguan coast. Interestingly, in the same area, Ida made landfall exactly two weeks ago. After that, the mountainous terrain of Honduras and Nicaragua will tear the storm apart, and it will be a remnant low by the time it reaches the eastern Pacific though some forecast models are showing the possibility of redevelopment once it's back over the ocean. So, what can Central America expect? Unfortunately, nothing good. In the immediate area of landfall, strong winds will be a concern, and even inland areas can see gusty conditions as it will take time for Iota to dissipate. The bigger threat, however, is the rain, and the mudslides that will be associated with it. When Ida blew through two weeks ago, it also dropped a ton of rain over the region, causing deadly mudslides and floods. Now, the soil is still very loose, so another big rain event will cause a far greater amount of destruction. Even worse, Honduras and Nicaragua are third world countries, so they don't have the infra necessarily have the infrastructure to withstand such wind, rain, and mud. Fortunately, Iota won't stall over the region like Ida did, so the heaviest rain might not be as widespread. But when you have loose soil, it doesn't take much to spark a chain reaction. So, what am I saying? If this video is reaching anyone that will be directly impacted by Iota, finish preparations now. People that are prepared have a much better chance of making through the storm than people who aren't. And with that, this video that concludes this video on Hurricane Iota. As always, I would appreciate if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Thanks and have a great day.